This screen recording is my full tutorial for 11.2.4 from page 136. Now this task requires you to create a calculator program that uses selection in a graphical programming language and it should also allow you to use all four maths operations. I know some of you completed this last lesson but I would also like you to make sure your code is very efficient and maybe compare your code with other students codes as well and see if you have some mistakes that can be eliminated so the first thing you need to do as always is get your green flag um, and then you want to use ask which comes from sensing and what we're going to ask is enter the first number and then we are going to use a variable of course we've got to make it first it'll be num1 you should remember from last lesson we'll also use num2 because we're going to use two different numbers in our calculations and the final variable will be our answer ans okay then we're going to set num1 to answer so whatever we put in here as answer will become that variable okay and then we are going to ask another question so we can actually just duplicate this because we're using the same blocks and we will ask enter second number and that will become num2 whatever answer becomes our variable num2 then we are going to ask some of you did this part last lesson but it wasn't done so efficiently so have a good look at what I'm doing now operation plus comma minus comma remember we use this symbol for multiplication and this symbol for division and then we'll use an if from here and an equal symbol so if answer once again answer from sensing if answer equals plus then so we're going to do four little sections and actually I'll just take this out for a minute because I'm going to need to duplicate this many times or four times for each of the main operations if answer equals plus then set answer to num1 plus num2 of course the calculator can be much much more complicated but we're just using two operations which is our two variables which the user has entered okay and then if answer equals minus and I might just go ahead and add multiplication and you can see already my text box has come up just make sure there's no spaces here as well because that can confuse the program okay and then we'll take our set variable and put it in each nested inside each of these and then we will put in our minus operation down here our multiplication operation and our division operation and you can see this is generalization we're simply using what we've used to solve one problem to solve all the other parts of our problem that being creating our code so down here we have we've simply got to put in num1 and num2 and we're almost done with our program and num2 can go over here and we're also going to have say because of course we need to provide the answer so we'll make a new block and that will be called oh actually maybe we can probably get it from looks yeah we can find say up in looks so we'll put say actually we're going to duplicate it and I want to actually say it for two seconds so we're going to take this block and then we can pop 
answer in here and remember of course answer is a variable so it will be a different number for whichever one you're using say answer for two seconds we're going to duplicate this two more times and then all we need to do is nest it down here and hopefully we don't have any troubleshooting but remember if your program doesn't work the way it's supposed to you will always have a period of debugging anyway let's run it so let's put in the first number say five keep it simple second number pre operation minus and you can see it's functioning exactly as it should as I'm sure your program is also doing